An essential element of this expedition has been fieldwork. Here we can see the scientific illustrators accompanied by Andrew Denham, the botanist. So what we're looking for here are plants that are on Beckler's list of plants that he collected 150 years ago. So once the plants are found, they're pressed and put into the collection. This is the label that accompanies the collection that gets all the important details of the collection to be stored with it in the in the uh, herbarium. And it's got information about what plant you've collected, so the family, the genus and the species, who the collectors are, and a unique number for each collection, the date, any other collectors that are there, information about where we are, so the state, high above sea level, some specific details to tell you where we are, and a description of where we are, the locality. There's also a field here to tell you what kind of country the plant's growing in and what vegetation the plant's growing in, so in this case it's a bit of red gum. The habit of the plant, so how it grows, what kind of plant it is, whether it's a herb or a shrub or a tree, and then other notes about the other species that grow with it. And then finally there's information about the kind of collection that we've made, whether it's just a herbarium collection, whether we've taken any photos with it, whether we've collected some and preserved it in alcohol. And that's it. We're, we're here on the riverbank. We're going to take a collection of... What's the plant that we've found here? Alleragus aspera. And the way we do that is we have two sheets of newspaper, one that's folded inside the other, and you place the plants on there. And then we add, we add a little tag. The tag has got the name of the plant, and the name of the collector, and the number of the, the label number. We put it on there, it's just in case gets lost, it'll be easily identified for what it is. Fold that piece of paper in there, fold the other one in so then things don't fall out. And then what we do is we put the newspaper on top of that and that's a collection. We also at the same time we may write in the just on the side of the newspaper for easy quick referencing the collector's name and the number of the collection. So then we put the cardboard back on here, the spare cardboard, the spare newspaper, and then the other half of the group, and then we tie, we tie it up. So I lean it up with my knee, and then we do, what's the name of this knot, Andrew? A half hitch. It's a half hitch knot. It's a slipped half hitch knot because you don't pull the thread right through. It's a slipped half hitch knot. I always thought it was a slip. So that's one. So we'll put it all the way through there. And then we'll pull it tight. And the finger holds it tight there. It's under there. Pull it tight this way. And that's it. What we've got here is a new technique that I developed uh, when I was the artist for the Burke and Wills environmental expedition. One of the big problems in collecting plants when you're photographing the plants in situ is isolating them from the surrounding environments. Now what I was doing previously was holding it up to the blue sky and that worked well, you could isolate the plant that way. 
But this way, what we're able to do in just having a black uh, piece of material is putting the plant down the material in the environment. It's a very fast way of isolating, documenting the plant whilst the specimen is still fresh. Probably what we're going to be doing in the future is taking some coat hangers, creating a metal ring and stretching the material across it that way so we don't have these, these bumps. But still, it's quite an effective way of isolating a plant in an environment um, in the field and documenting it photographically whilst it's still fresh.